welcome back to the channel now the minister of security is saying that five billion i guess out of the ministry of security's budget has been spent on the jcf's mobility and they are saying that since the administration has been in power they have done the most for the security forces you know tell me what you think now the prime minister also say the reason why most jamaicans are not aware of this is because the opposition is pushing the narrative of negative news and the people seem to be more gravitating to negative news tell me if you agree or if that is just a reflection of the people's frustration let me continue and then we'll continue the reasoning look and listen in terms of the full development of the force for the first time for the first time in the history of jamaica we have brought the police to establishment level 14 000. Mr. So Speaker, we're not going to put more boots on the ground. The police officer is a professional in every aspect of his life. He operates all times as a police officer. They'll tell you when off duty, he's still a policeman. And the society depends on him at all times. And we took the required step and process to ensure we could expand the police force at least to establishment level. Mobility like communication is crucial to the effectiveness of the police. They must have adequate mobility to, to be present and visible on our roadways to quickly and effectively respond to citizens' calls and critical incidents and for managing public order. The government has invested significantly in police vehicles, both bikes and pickups and SUVs. We have spent some $4.6 billion to bring the fleet near to a functioning level. We're still not quite where we should be. And in fact, this year we'll be making a significant effort to pull put the additional numbers in place to give the police full mobility. That's an important force multiplier component. Every time we speak, we tell the story of the Jamaican success. But you have to understand the age in, in, in which we exist. We exist in the age of what is called the attention economy. Nobody wants to listen to good news. That doesn't get likes and follow. It, what gets liked and followed would be, you know, things that are negative, things that are bizarre, things that are strange, things that are um, controversial, things that are silly, yes. It is an unfortunate pronouncement of this new emerging kind of perspective, which makes it very difficult for governments, not just for incumbents, not just for this administration. Government has to come to grips with this in terms of how it finds ways to deliver the message of its performance. So it's a very curious thing that government is being criticized, but not for its lack of performance. You have a government that performs, but it is heavily criticized. And it is a strange place to be in. But don't worry, this is a very resilient and innovative government. And we are not perturbed by narratives that are created. We have a story to tell, and we will tell our story in the best way possible for all Jamaicans to hear and understand. Now, while the argument could be made that people overall love hear negative news, and people in the tabloids will tell you, especially editors, scandals and exposés are definitely more interesting for the reader. So normally, the media normally, when they hear them story, they, they run with them as fast as possible. So the state are saying that people overall are just not paying attention to the good things being done by the administration and are more focused on the negative things being said and pushed by the opposition who is seeking to be elected. Now it can be true, as I said, the argument can be made for that. But the argument can also be made for the fact that this might be a reflection of the people's frustration, the facts of the people are fed up. So even when the administration and the government are pointing out, say, look upon the good thing away at the right as so, well. The people must have warmed to the long list of things on a promise someone did I got deal with, still not deal with yet. And the fact that, yes, while we want that deal with, they have other things that should be prioritized. Let's just put it at that. The people must have the security minister say five billion gets spent upon mobility. So they can move around the island, which is good. Of course, that is very good. But the people still have say, remember, officers had asked for a wage increase and the amount that they were given was not satisfactory to say the least the people also say where well, the camera them day was supposed to depend every officer the minister pointed out that full recruitment numbers since his administration has been in power since the government has been in power full recruitment numbers what is not being talked about which i think the only reason why jcf mentioned this 
was I guess it was this was doing wage negotiations too. Even though there are record numbers of officers entering the force every year, there are also record number of officers leaving the force every single year. Every single year. That's why they have to continue recruit officers. That's why the country never say, all right, we have enough officers and we don't need no more. Never. Because every year when they recruit, every year have a portion to leave for different different reasons not just leave because them choose to different different reasons but what the camera them they body camera supposed to depend every officer so that's the pressure are when in the come look into things them have actual video footage we can cross reference with officer statements one to the tears of them and the paper spray them that lethal force not have to use in every scenario because in certain scenarios Officers that try to subdue people. People might have a sharp object or something like that. You don't really need to use deadly force. But the only weapon given to an officer sometimes is the M16 or a sidearm, which is a, still a pistol, still a gun. One to the tears of them, because them can subdue people and not to use lethal force. The people might ask one to that. And since they ask these questions, some people have had a reflection on the, the frustration of the people. Not that the administration is doing nothing, but that people are fed up. The direction where them feel like the party would are going on, it are going in a different direction. They must say the party seem to be on a one track mindset. SOE, state of emergency. They must say that's another way that don't get infringed upon the rights of the people and the same mobility. With the security minister attack, it will infringe upon the people's mobility. If we are talking about the economy and the economy doing better, tell the truth. Are the hard working Jamaicans make the economy do, do better? Are the GDP, the gross domestic produce, things that are made in Jamaica and Jamaican money is spent on those things, are that make the economy do well? And of course, the tourism sector and the other big sector, them, you know what I mean? The BPO sector, we are bringing a whole heap of foreign currency. Of course, our remittance, even remittance, contribute to the economy. So the money we are hard working Jamaicans that were overseas sending for family members with them love and I help take care of. All of that contribute to the economy. So while the Prime Minister might be right, he might have some people where, you know, just more gravitate to negative news, whether about the administration, about anything. Truth be told, in the media, sometimes I've only part of good news where I come on. But as we know, local news focuses on crime and violence. Of course, you have sports, you have weather. And often enough, I think the news makes sure say within every news broadcast, I think them present some, some good news to the people. Like something good to take place. Whether the government do good, something good in the sports. You know what I mean? Something new, but normally the headlines are what the headlines are. So they might be true to that, but the administration should focus on doing better. With the more good things to talk about the administration, there will be no negative news. And I guess that's what them supporters are called for. Of course, the opposition is saying that at the moment they are the opposition, but they are the better government, are the better party to become the government for the country. They must say them know the people they want and them can give it to the people. We have your supporters of the opposition already I say if the opposition is voted into power and them not do what they're supposed to do, they will be voting them out. And I guess this is the new day and age. Or this is where the people are at. The people are saying that they want a the better party to lead the country. Whichever party that is. Whether that's the Freedom Party or that's the the other party, I be a third party, or a fourth party, just the people with the right policies, the right program, and the right mindset. Some people are say elected officials that make up majority of both parties have been around so long that when when the opposition has say the government out of touch, they might just say that you know what I mean just for you know political reasons. They must have said that for the people and react. But at the t- at truth be told. There is things to support that. Meaning, say, some of these individuals have been in politics from, from your grandmother uh, in a school are just left. 
And these are still the same individuals now. So they must say they must retrain public transport operators. Majority of elected officials have not been retrained either. Still have the same mindset. Still are trying to do the same thing. Them like, like this is the 90s. And in the 90s now. Only part advances has been made. Technological and otherwise. People's mindset have changed. Gone are the days when people just want. You just hear people that talk about road. Just road every time you just road. And the sad thing is. The people who talk about road from them time they until now. From them time they until now. Some of them same place they ask for road. Same way. Nothing has been done. Two parties but at the same sad song. But talk to me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what think about statements being made by the state. And the good work that they have been doing so far. And the fact that people are just not aware of the good work that they have been doing so far. If you know the channel is a pass through, click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon. And of course, put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them for check or challenge or the reasoning. And also join the discussion in the comment section 24 7. It never lock it. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts and comments. And yes, your opinions there. We can continue the reasoning via the comment section now until the reason again of course my sentiments for you and yours i want to live love and prosper i want to stay tuned